Boy, do I have something special for you guys. I'm sorry, I think my eyes are very red. My allergies are super bad today. I just took some medicine and I hope that it kicks in. Allergy season is crazy, as it is every single spring. So I have something special to show you guys. This is a big sneak peek, and I'm not a fan of sneak peeks. I like everything to be a big surprise. But since my dad is here and Mike's tux came in, he put it on so like my dad could see if it fits him good and everything. And I don't want to see it all done up but he has, you know, it pretty much put together and I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek. I need the bow tie and all. Yeah, we, the bow tie and everything isn't Shirt's on. Shirt's not even tucked in. I've never seen Mike in a bow tie, so I don't want to see it until like day of. Oh, but it's a scene. It looks really, really yeah, good. I gotta lose some weight though. I'm gonna try to lose 15 pounds for this wedding. I'd like to be high 160s. I think I'd look really good high one, but that's, that's tough for me. I say 170. As I get older, it's harder for me to get down to that weight. <laughs> so Michael and his tux. I just wanted to show you guys the little sneak peek. It looks really, really, really good and it gets me excited. Michael needs to go take this off right now because Ernie. we have two little demon yeah. dogs that would Ernie. get their hair all over it. So you gotta go take that off well, like right still, away. Not ready. There's no way we're gonna <laughs> avoid it for the wedding, so. Well, the wedding day it can be covered in dog hair because the girls will be there. I wanted to point out that Oatmeal's foot is still yellow because that soak that she was doing for her little foot injury um, stains the hair. So it's literally gonna be yellow until it fully grows out, but it's doing good. It's not crazy yellow like it was before. But she's, she's doing better. She's just on medication now just to get rid of the infection because it's still there, but they said she doesn't have to come for any more checkups because she's doing that good but she just has to stay on the medication. She has like probably three weeks worth of pills and then the infection should be totally gone. We are actually going to head out really quick and go do something really fun and the rest of the footage is going to be on Mike's GoPro because as you guys know, he likes to film on his GoPro and not this camera. It just throws them all off. So we're gonna start with the GoPro footage here and get into this awesome vlog. All right guys, beautiful, bright, sunny day and I can't show you what's in that bay because that's on the main, this bay right here. Um, I don't know if I pointed the right way, uh, but in this bay, there's something for the main channel. You have to tune in, uh, tune into the Street Speed 717 channel to see what has arrived in here. Uh, but yes, welcome to the family channel. And let me give you a little backstory to today's upload. So back when I got my Sandblast TRX, I ordered a Hydro Blue one shortly after, a couple of weeks after, because, you know, I did like the tan color, but I didn't like it as much as the blue. So I figured, you know, before I knew that these were coming out, by the way, the yellow ones, so I ordered another blue one and I thought, well, you know, it'll take like meh, maybe a month or two to get in. So I'll have some time with the sandblast and then trade it in. And also uh, I wanted a, a blue one because the TR, like the special edition ones, these are really expensive. Like the sandblast, this one, these are all like a hundred and basically 110 grand. And I, you know, I love it. It's really cool, but I would actually prefer one about 85, you know, with the options I want, but I don't need all the fanciest stuff. I don't need the, the towing package, I, uh, the towing control package, all that stuff where you have the automatic trailer and I don't, I can drive a trailer. I don't need that. I don't need the panoramic roof. Um, there's a lot of little things I don't need. So I usually get like TRX level two and my trucks turn out to be about 87, 88, so under 90. So it's a big savings over these special edition ones. So I figured, all right, cool. I'll drive the sandblast. I'll have some fun. Then I ordered this blue one and I'll save a little, I'll get the blue one, save a little money and get the color I want. Long story short, I don't know for whatever reason, I don't know what the cause was or you know what went wrong, but <laughs> this truck took like six, I mean, I don't even know. You can look back in the videos, but how long ago did I buy the Sandblast TRX? Because again, I ordered the Hydro Blue right, at, right after that. No idea why it took that long, but it's here now, finally it is here. Um, now I have the yellow one, so I won't be buying it, I don't think, but I might have a buyer and that is Gina's dad. He is here, hence the OBS. So he has a newer daily driver car and then this truck and he's looking to replace his daily driver and maybe the truck as well. I don't know if he's going to sell both and get one new truck or sell the, sell the newer car and get the new truck. I'm not sure yet and use that kind of as like, you know, the beater truck. Who knows? Uh, but I do know he's looking for a new truck. And I said, hey, if you want a TRX, I know it's a little bit wild, but if you want one that has good options, that's not crazy expensive, and you can get it at guar guaranteed at MSRP, because that was my deal, 
um, this is this is one. It's here, it's available, and I know it's good because I expect it. So we're going to check it out, and maybe we can convince him to get a Ram TRX. That'd be pretty cool to have two in the family, right? So let's go check it out and see what he thinks. All right, so they got her inside. Oh, man. Beautiful. I love the video. They keep the TRXs inside. Wow, it is a gorgeous truck. Gorgeous truck. Oh. What do you think? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So beautiful. This is it. So I got it specked out right. So you can see it's got the black on the underside, which I like. It actually hides some dirt. Um, got the black door handles. But I did get all the good stuff. Like it's got the automatic. Um, believe it or not, the base ones don't have the keyless entry, like the proximity entry. Uh, so I did that. And you can see, obviously, had to get the Ram bar on there. Comes with the Ram bar and the TRX graphics as well as the TRX graphics on the hood um, right here. This TRX graphic, which I really like. Yeah, I mean, it's, God, it looks like my first one. I love these so much. This is actually hard for me I know, I miss to not color. take it home. This is like my baby. I picked everything out for this big girl right here. That's like seven rough. months ago, but yeah. Picked everything out for it. Um, of course, the big rubber steps, um, not steps, inserts will come with it. Plastic still on it. Yeah, I've never seen it like that. Brand like that new. Before. This is like pre-delivery. It's all brand new. Hmm. Well, what do you think? I think you got to get up in there. <laughs> wow. These are cool too. Like if Bella has a, you know, you got water for her or whatever. You got your little oh, wow. secret little, compartment little well in there. there. Yeah. You can put ice in there. You know, it's cool. Those are probably the floor mats here. Yeah, these are the mats. So it's fully like rubber lined, just like mine is out front. Got the bed liner. Got your little bed step back here. You spec out any truck, even like a, if you go with a base Ram, you know, 1500 or Silverado or F-150, a higher level with some options, you're gonna be looking at 60, 70 K. In this truck, you get a hell of an engine, hell of a powertrain with it. And you know, you get the cool looks of the wide body you get some bonuses and you get kind of like the, I don't know, the exclusive clout of being a TRX. So really, when you think about it, I mean, this is just kind of now how expensive trucks are. I mean, pick any of those out on the lot. I bet, I guarantee you most of them at the least are gonna be mid fifties, somewhere in there. So I'm trying to really sell you on this. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see it stay. I just want to see it stay in the family. That's all. I agree. It's underneath this so little, <laughs> it's like a little, little Easter egg some people don't know about, but then you can see they did the old school Hemi orange. Now you would know about this old school Hemi orange on the block oh, on yeah. the heads. And then the, uh, you that can see sharp. the enormous blower on there. So it's full, full Hellcat powertrain. It should have enough power to get you to the Creek yeah. and, uh, you know, I know. whatever it's, else you're doing it is something. and tell your GTO. You tow it. <laughs> It'll tow the goat too, which would be pretty badass rolling down the street. I love them. Such a great truck. I mean, really, it's like the ultimate truck. It does everything you would ever need. It, it can tow, it can haul. Um, unless you're towing like a huge load, anything under 10K, I'd say, is, is fine. The truck is super fast, so it's like a sports car when you want it. They drive really well. It's got all the luxuries you could ever need. And I, I promise Ram doesn't pay me. But really, I think the TRX is like the ultimate daily driver. Window sticker right here, and I guess I spec more than I thought with all the carbon, and then once you do destination and all that, so we're, we're over 100 Gs. Uh, yeah, I was hoping I kept it low. I don't know what I did. I think I did too much. I went out of control. I guess I was thinking about the base price, but whatever, it's my fault. But <laughs> it's got really good options. Ah, dang it, guys. Well, I couldn't get my father-in-law into a Ram at all. Um, my Ram TRX ended up being more than he wanted to spend, but he did say even if it was like 85, he thought that was still too much. He didn't want to spend quite that much on a truck. So then I thought, I was like, all right, well, okay, so he doesn't need the Ram TRX really because all you get is the wide body, um, all the off-road stuff, and the engine, which you don't really need. Nobody needs a Hellcat engine, and you don't really need. He probably doesn't need the off-road stuff. So I was like, all right, well, if he likes the inside, which is where you spend most of your time, if he likes that, that, then let's show them, you know, maybe a Laramie Longhorn, whatever, um, a limited. So they had a limited on the lot, showed him that, but he didn't like it. He didn't. And I will say seeing a regular 1500 Ram after you've seen a TRX, 
it's a big mistake. You don't want to start out on the TRX. And he didn't, he was like, ah, this doesn't really look very good, which I agree. Now you can do a lot more with those um, to help. You can do, because the TRX is already done, but you can do a lot more with a regular one. You can do a lift, you can do wheels and tires. You can uh, make it look better. Whereas this is kind of like already where it's going to be. Um, but I don't think he's, try as I might, I don't think he's into the Rams. I tried, I tried to get him into my TRX, couldn't do it. Uh, and I couldn't get him into a Ram either. He didn't like the limited, but he was saying he did like the power wagon they had on the lot and a hydro blue power wagon would look incredible. So maybe there's still hope to get him into a Ram at some point, but I think the next video you'll see is uh, we're going to Whitmore and we'll check out some Chevys. That's really his, his heart is at, I think with GM. So I think that's what he's gonna end up getting. And it'll be fun though. I love the whole process. You guys know I love buying cars and I'm glad I get to be along for this one. So keep an eye out in the next upload. Maybe he'll get uh, a new Chevy from old Matt Beaver. So hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up, take care and have a great night.